Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Monday Night Smoke. They broke me, blood. I'm broken, fam. <laughs> Bro, how are you today, fam? <laughs> Because... I'm not feeling good, man. I ain't gonna lie, fam. It's been a it's been a long weekend. Um, you sound devastated, bro. You I know am, what, bro? I Let am, me... and I have to deal with the. I have to deal with the. Let's go, man. Let Let's me greet the greatest greeters, bro. You get your thoughts in the row, fam. Shout! Hey, I've never seen this name before. Shouts out to my like Hermes Trismegistus. He just Selassie hot lines, Mr. A. Hey, Ross, bro. Name? Bro, Hermes Trismegistus, bro. <laughs> there it is, fam. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's mad. Shouts out to like Mola Mola, Kingsley O, Untraceable, Mark E, Jermaine Williams, October. I know October already is happy today, boy. Tight, MC bro. Tasty, Alex Ferguson, uh, Doofus Creations, Disgruntled Buddha, uh, Leonardo Samuel, Stay Blessed Be Real, Ivy Benz, uh, man like Northback, Brain Gas, oh, Bran, Skyliner, the editor. Skyler, the editor, is hilarious. He said, I, I wonder who gives a better hug, uh, a Coley or Travis. Why Why am I in the mix for the hugs thing, fam? That's that's insane. You know what? Let's get straight into the show. You fam. know what's crazy? Do you know when I knew that I was finished? I saw a great defeater in the in off license, just randomly in Hern Hill, bro. He goes, raw Monday. Are you going to be all right? <laughs> I go, swear. I goes, what? You're great to be like that? He goes, yeah, absolutely, bro. He goes, big man, <laughs> it's not looking good for you. I said... <laughs> I said, yeah, because I was taught. Do you know what's crazy about this? Go on. I was taught the last call-in show, I was out of control. The last did, one when we did loads. A Coley one. And my last bar was, he's still undefeated. Talk to me when he loses in it. Because I'm not trying to hear anything you have to say. I was belligerent, fam. You were going crazy, bro. Bro, even, even I was, you tried to throw me under the bus to, to a Coley and then man. And I said exactly what I said. I said, big man, I re I believe you could be React Poor. But the way that looked, if that was React Poor on Saturday night, he'd have got to you. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. He was like, he had to, he had to hear you know I me, mean? he had to hear what I had to say. He said it would be different, fam. Bro, I watched the fight again, you know. Why? And when you watch it again, because I wanted to understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But when I'm telling you to go back and watch Loma and Haley. You can't find the time, but you went back to watch the hug fest. You are an absolute disgrace. You are cheap. <laughs> Who are you? What motivates you? I had to go back. That's insane. This guy came up with a fraudulent scorecard talking about one to eight. <laughs> but you went back to watch a and in I had to go back. I had to go back because yeah, can you turn on the light, please? That's this. No, 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 no. Thank you. Um, um. Brother, so I went back and watched it, yeah. Okay, how did you score it? Oh, forget, that. forget forget the scoring. <laughs> forget the scoring. Because I needed to understand what was um I need to understand how this has all gone wrong. Bro, this is bad. This is really bad. This is this year is what I saw on the rewatch is what I thought I was seeing, bro. I don't think this guy wanted to get hurt. I don't think he wanted to get hit. Honestly, you know when he talk about keeping it like there's this thing about we're well, thinking, right? Is he hugging out of you know? There's the muscle memory thing, or there's there's different levels. So some people said, you know what? If he kept it long, he yeah. would have won that fight. Pause. I hear that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strong pause. <laughs> if he <laughs> no, but this is serious, Travis. And there's no we're not even doing that right now. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. If he if he kept the distance, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. If he kept the distance, people were saying he would have won that fight. No, mm -hmm. because Billum Smith couldn't get going. So Billum looked at Billum looked bad in a way that Billum doesn't fight like that. So I even wanted to, bro, I wanted to go back and say, when was the last time I seen a Coley look devastating, look dangerous? The only issues is the level of opponent, it's hard to really assess mm -hmm. him. I, under I what think... you call it, we can say under his last trainer before. No, he no, moved, no. When he gone, was yeah, Jimbo Jones, one hundred percent. No, when he when he when he made that guy do the mad robot, <laughs> you you don't remember that KO when he had the guy fragmenting in yes, the ring? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He's had moments when he's looked really. He's looked oh, like what was oh, the level? What was the Shane, level of opponent? Under under Shane. Shane. Exactly. No, don't, no, 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 no. Let's let's be real because weren't one of those for the title. 
Which one is he? He knocked out my man for the title. Let me get the go the back anyway. Out. He's he's looked his best under Shane. We because he's, 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 yeah, he's, no, but what I'm saying is that uh, what I, let's not pretend like he's never looked devastating because no, he's guys, not devastating. I'm just saying that how there's been a change, there's been a shift, and I'm trying to understand how did we get here, bro? You know when you know when you watch a fire and say, well, how have we regressed back to this? Because mm. the last one we can say, well, he's had some time off, so the hugging thing. Is coming, and I said I didn't think he was hugging that crazy in his fight before this. This mm. fight today was it. Oh my goodness! And I'm saying today, yeah, it I, was nuts. It was very nuts, fam. Bro, my oh. Let's just get the super chats in, bro. Go, we keep go on, go on. Um, Lil Yo Yo says, "KG, you've been taking hugging lessons from your boy." <laughs> um, Peter Bissett says, "Akoli was on that sweet science of hit and hold before a fight breaks out." He said Arsenal's defense ain't holding that much. Goodness gracious, that's insane. <laughs> Everyone caught a string I'm in that hurting, one. Fam. Um, where's the next one? Uh, President Brush says, uh, Elo, Lawrence Akoli has abandonment issues. He just can't let go. Bloody hell. Look, mate, all I know is Sutton's not working in how he processes boxing because it looks like maybe he's covering uh, a fragile chin. Do you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's because... something clean on the Smith. Um, Billum hit him with something clean on the chin, and it didn't take him down the second time, which is crazy. It was late well, in the well, round. A lot of, well, some of the, some people are online have been saying that some of those knockdowns were just like they weren't even knockdowns like that. Like it was just weird things. Like sometimes he'd lean on him and push him down, or he tripped over his feet. So people have contested those things, but it's one of those things where I think there is there's some there is a there's like a there's a mental block in there somewhere and let's go back to when we sat down with Lawrence Acoli yeah mm. and we and and I said to him I'm not a fan of the fighting style yeah you did because I said I got you got all the attributes to fight better than this and you just don't and he was saying he alluded to confidence issues and he's saying it's like certain things can't get out of his own head yeah and then it was slightly different under Shane because it's like yeah because you know working with Shane there's a certain belief that he's instilling in me. You remember all of that stuff as well? Yeah, I remember and, he, and, and then we started to see what that was looking like when he started to fight with the natural attributes and he started to tag guys. Now he's gone with Sugar Hill. I don't know that it's gone forward or if it's gone back. It feels like it's gone it's back. Gone backwards. It's gone backwards, bro. It's the it's second fight under second fight under Sugar Hill. And now people are doing what, you know, they're doing the thing that we do in boxing where we say, is he even a good trainer at all? No, Sugar Hill's a good trainer, but then it's you gotta. I feel like for him, I don't know if he's trying to learn the sweet science of boxing, but at the moment, he's just not boxing properly. He's not even, I don't even know who the correct trainer is. Cause I was, I was like, bro, how do we fix this? Because let's have it like he punches, punches, and he goes in for the grapple immediately. No even matter when what. he lands, even, even when, when he lands, lands on a land, bang. punch, hold. He yeah. can't help it. Even on warning, bro, how many warnings did he get? And yes, bro. the referee, you can say the referee was bad, but Akoli should have stopped doing what he was doing. You know, there was a moment where Akoli says, okay, enough of this. Even mm. if you look at the Conlon fight, like, it, you just go for it. There's moments where you say, you know what? I'm going to keep at a distance. And however this goes, it goes. But even the speech after was even worse, saying, rah, it would have been bad if I lost to that prick. I'm like, bro, like, you don't even get those, you can't get those bars off. Like, this is bad. When when you drop, yeah, and you're, and you're reaching for the leg, if it was anybody else, if this was any other fighter, bro, remember when my guy done the, done the Lion King walk, fam? Um, the ghost. I'll never forget that. Dion Juma. I hated that, fam. And then now my boy goes down, he grabs the leg, and I'm thinking, bro. And then after, at the end of the fight, then you hug the trainer, you hug him, you hugged everyone on the... Nah, man. Nah, nah, I was... Bro, I'm still mad. I'm not going to lie. I'm mad. I, my wife came in, she said, yo, what's wrong, man? Are you okay? I said, listen, I don't understand how a fighter is just shifted to something I don't recognize. This is well, madness. No, I don't think it's shifted to something we don't recognize. He started out like this and then showed glimpses of improvement and now it's reverted back under Sugar Hill, like even more so. Because I didn't really see, like, and it's weird because he's got a decent engine. He stayed on his toes, bouncing pretty much for the whole fight. But it's just like, whenever he threw the shot, it's just, it just collapsed. It's like, bang, just hold, hold and walk forward. The referee's warning and he's not changing his behavior. That, that says to me that is instinctual. 
Like it's so ingrained in your pattern, your DNA as a fighter. It doesn't, it, it can't, you can't scare me out of this. This is what I do in this squared circle. I don't know, You can man. change that then. Is there a trainer in boxing? Because what style does he need to try and do for him to not be like that? Like It's all mental. Said, it's mental, It's, it's got to be mental. Because go back, and watch, go back and watch that video when he spars Dillian mm -hmm. White. Yeah? When he spars Dillian White, how did he look in there? He looked like a guy that's got more skills than he shows in the ring. Absolutely. Yeah? So for me, I'm like, you don't need... It's not that he needs to learn other things. He's got to get out of his own head. It must be right, because he did say, and what's crazy is, and I don't even understand the shift of switching from Shane when, like, what he was getting, he said that Shane's clicked into his psyche and he feels more confident of a fighter, because he said, as you sit down with him and said, look, I don't really like the way you fight. He said, well, that's, like, it's I do things in training that people haven't seen, and I'm trying to bring the training version of me to the ring, right? And Shane was kind of unleashing some of that, that's and right. you're seeing the confidence and stuff, and then I don't know. I, I I honestly don't understand how. I don't know like, why he left. I don't know why. Happened. I don't know why he left. I really don't know why he left Shane. That's that. That's that's really confused me. Like, yeah, I don't know. That wasn't a move, man. And the problem is, if you do fight a uh, React Pool now, yeah, it's, look, it's you, rough. It's, it's rough. Looking long, bro. It's, it's rough. Looking, it's looking long. And it's you know what? Looking... The worst part, the, the maddest part, is yeah, a cold. I felt like. It's not, I don't feel like Billiam Swift beat him. Like he beat him. Like I feel like a Coley just lost. <laughs> it's a weird one because I don't no, I didn't Billiam. really feel like Billiam Swift went in there and did a dominating. I'm no, a but he couldn't, he wouldn't a Coley wouldn't allow him to go. But then I I'm think saying. Billiam, no, don't get twisted though, because Billiam needs his credit because he no, couldn't. Give him his get credit. Going. I'm not trying to take away from no, I'm credit. Saying, I'm saying. Billiam couldn't get going because that thing that Coley does does nullify you and you can't get into a rhythm. So you mean we have to almost say Billum would have been better had he been able to allow to get the punches off. But what Billum started doing that was silly. As soon as he hugged him, Billum started complaining at every hug. And it's like, mate, that's still a part of boxing. That's still, yes, he's getting, he, yes, he's using excessively, but mm. brother, Billum was waiting for, um, Billum was waiting for the referee to just stop anytime, the anytime they clear, just. <laughs> literally like so again he didn't show his he didn't put his best foot, best foot forward but even if we get like billam versus react poor it will look completely different it will yeah, be that, a it'll be a gunshot yeah yeah um, i mean for me i feel like the the, the stage is set for react poor i don't know that react poor is going to get that next do you know what i'm saying let's be let's have it right the game don't really work that way but at the same time i don't really feel like cbs got to announce himself as yeah I'm the guy now. This this story follows more of what Okoli did and what Okoli didn't do. So I think the rematch, because obviously they're going to go for the rematch. Should he sign it? Should he do it? Should he do it? If I'm Okoli, absolutely. Absolutely. You got to go back and you got to go back again. Wow. Because that's a fight he can win. It's not like he got beat up and it's just like, yeah, no, nah, like he had no chance and he was outskilled. He was outgunned. He was nothing. He just cuddled too much. He took something nasty from Billum, though. That even that first that shot that sent him down the the that original a one. That that's a hook. good shot. That was a and he just. I was absolutely to the stunned, floor. fam. Someone turned me into a meme, fam. <laughs> I couldn't believe. So, so tag me in a meme, man. I had my face on some. <laughs> I didn't even know I was like that for so long. Oh, yeah, you didn't talk because uh, it's it's rare seeing him go anyway. Listen, I was absolutely Bro. spun, man. Hey, listen, I know the last person this, pers to this to person you, here has been dying. It's the to last speak person on this. I want to talk to you, fam. October oh, Red, oh, hold on. Hey, October good Red, <laughs> good evening, gentlemen. How are we? First of all, we must do welfare checks, we must make sure that KG is safe and well <laughs> and that he's okay to proceed with tonight's show. They so first of all, me, KG, broken, talk to me. Man. How are you feeling? <laughs> I said it. They broke me, blood. I'm broken, fam. I'm not going to lie. I'm, you know what? <laughs> October, I thought this conversation was going to come, yeah, after the React Pool fight, but me, me, like, being a bit of a dickhead to you, to be honest. Oh, really? And, like, yeah. I did. I ain't going to lie. I thought, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? This is not how I wanted this to go. I wanted to be like, like laughing and showing off, but yeah, we... <laughs> I wanted to be laughing. 
It's okay. We we knew this was coming. All I want to say is commiserations. First of all, like I said, yeah. I don't. I'm not knocking any fighter. No. This is just me trolling you, this KG. Is this is our yeah. thing. Because know, you are is... always underestimating Richard Riappol, and as you know, I'm a diehard Richard Riappol you know, fan, and he is. Well, like you say, I know my dog. So all I need you lot is to put some respect on ah. his name. You yeah, lot, because this every is all time... about KG. This is all about KG. Yeah. Bro. It's me, this is me still. I got a hold you this need one. to put some I respect didn't, I didn't, on my Why man's did you name. call in? I thought you was busy, man. No, nah. I've got time <laughs> no, for you no, today. No, I've been no, waiting no. for this. You know what? You know what? I'm, Mola, I'm, Mola. I'm, I'm watching Mola, Mola. Lara Wood and hold on, hold on. chat live guys, with you, man. You know, I can't guys, hear let me... nothing. Let me just step out of this chat. This is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah. I don't even feel like I belong here. Why, you guys have, you no <laughs> Why have you called in today, October? Because you've been nah, busy. Nah, I haven't nah. seen you in a while, yeah? And you know what? I am i can't even say this with confidence. But I think the fight with my guy... I'm lying. The fight yeah, with yeah. Riyakpo will be different. Okoli won't be hugging the way he was hugging last night. I mean... Yeah, you keep, you keep saying this, but basically he will revert to type. And I like a Coley. What I'd like to see is his brother. Is it Henry? I'd like to see him to more at the him. forefront because he's a really good guy. I've spoke to him before and I mm -hmm. think he has really got the best interests of his brother at heart. So I'd like to see him at the forefront. I ain't going to come on him. here and disrespect a Coley <laughs> um, for losing. Like I said, no, it's just about the you way you man tech. Take the you piss know what? I have out to take react for. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Hold need on. to just what, allow it when, now. When did we take the piss out of react for? When, you, nah, like every fight. Mm -hmm. All right, then every time my man goes up in a fight, you always say he's gonna lose. Oh, my man, he's gonna get beat. No, when? but when? he's not though. When? What do you mean with we Dion Juma? We did with the ghost, and then we did with this, and yeah. We, I, and oh, yeah, he did really with mean. the other fight he had. Oh, he's, he's tough, you know. Remember what Akoli did? Listen, shut up, man. Just shut up. I'm just going to tell you straight. But anyway. I'm broken, fam. Let, let's get back to the feedback <laughs> of the fight. You're punching after the bell, October, man. You can't sorry, just spill up like sorry. Let, let's get Let's get back to fight talk now. <laughs> right. cole has been through a lot of shit mm. with his change of uh, management, yeah. with his change of like team, with his change of promotional company, etc., and trainer. He's been through some stuff. He's had a short turnaround on the fight. Mm. Short turnaround. However, he reverts to type. His best boxing was with Shane. Shame. Now, I'm not going to be one of these that's going to jump on and say, oh, you shouldn't have left. He had his reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But people underestimated the psychological game of this boxing match between the two of them because a Coley's come out of a camp where Shane was his teacher for four years and Chris Billen was part of that team and had also shared sparring. So that knowledge, I'm not just talking about boxing knowledge. You touched on it, Travis, about the psychological side, how Shane helped build up that, his, his confidence, his this and his that, and we saw those improvements. All of those things, whether anybody admits it or not, are going to come into play. Yeah. They know that Akoli's weakness is that he will fall into you, he will hog you, so that's the best time to get the shots off mm -hmm. and to also look at the ref and say, you know what he does? Hence the warning after warning after warning. To me, this was more of a psychological thing. Yeah, he lost fair and square. I did say on the week of the fight, I had a funny feeling that Billen was going to do it. I just, mm. it, it, to me, this was more psychological for we, You know what's Lawrence. so crazy? We, I only thought that, yeah, just because I said every time we got a big fight coming up, it just gets ruined. <laughs> like something, there's always a banana skin. When we thought we we're going to get Fury, after AJ deals with Usyk, we know where it's going. Hold yeah. on, banana skin. So each time it's, each yeah. time we get excited and there's it's, the fight before the fight, we get the banana it, skin. Go do ahead. we need to give um, Eddie Hearn a little bit of credit in terms of reading the, reading the tea leaves? No, listen, listen. In, in his ability to read the tea leaves and know when it's time to let somebody go. Because right well, now, well, he knows he his fighter. Go, he knows his fighter, and he's very, very strategic. And we've seen what he's done to fighters when they haven't performed. Fair enough. A Coley pulled away earlier with this because there was an argument about the extra fight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like you know, quite coldly and ruthlessly, Eddie said to me, "Listen, if you're of value to me, like in mm. other words, if you're going to make me money, you ain't going anywhere. I'll tell you that for free." 
But Eddie mm. didn't want to let him go, though. He got out. No, of he didn't not, because look at the investment. He didn't. But look at the investment. Know look how he, he sold. Look how he sold to Coley. He, he had us convinced about, you know, his world level skill, et cetera, et cetera, which is what a salesman's supposed to do. However, all of that pressure, I, I don't know what a Coley's thinking because I don't know him like that. Yeah. But I know, like I said, this was more probably psychological. You're sitting opposite your ex trainer and an ex sparring partner. And big, now they know all your dirty, not dirty secrets, you. but they know all your weaknesses. They know you. They know and you he mean. knows that they know. So he's sitting there thinking, damn, yep. that pressure. Are you, we don't climb through those ropes. We don't know what pressure goes on with the, in their, the boxers' minds. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Can he can he get better with Sugar Hill? Who knows? Time will tell. Do you, is so he going to go up to heavyweight? Not, what do you reckon? He not be, yet. Uh, not you yet. what? Sorry. Not yet. What no, does not, he not mean the to, in terms of in terms right of a fighting style? Do you reckon yeah. that? Do you reckon there's something else that needs to come out of him? Because I do know I do believe in the mental block, but even just the holding. Is there someone else? Is there is there a trainer we can say? You know what? Why do you hold someone, or why do you wrestle someone? Why do you do that? Think about it instinctively. Why do you do that? Because you don't want to get clotted. Don't want to get clotted, that's right? And that's there's why a, I thought I, I, I noticed that in the thingy, the, the there's guy there's didn't agility there. Certain shots, and there's I'm thinking, the fragility there. But why though? Because you, you look like yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he might be getting knocked down, inspiring. He might be getting knocked down, inspiring, and that's a that's an issue to him where he's like, I go down. So yeah, because we don't know, it, do we? It's right. It comes from somewhere. You don't just get. That's a goal. That's a. That's a like a, a proper ghost in his boxing brain. Yeah, I can go. Do you understand? So when you talk about psychological sides, though, Travis, and 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 forgive me if you think I'm reaching here, but do you see similarities with AJ? He doesn't also. He also he doesn't want to get hit as well. He doesn't clinch, but he flinches. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, it's it's different scales. I'd say different scales of the same thing. No, absolutely. Akoli took it to the next level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Team. Like, because mm -hmm. even when Akoli lands, he 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 absolutely leans in and falls on it. Like he he destroys his own work. Yeah, all the time. yeah, he smothers it. Yeah, totally smothers it. And it's, it's a, a shame one, because man. with his long arms, those big legs that can move in and out, he's got so many attributes. But mm. how are you going to tame him? How are you going to tame that fighter now after being a professional for so long? And being able to, you know, be the horriblest fighter to watch a fight that's not easy on the eye, but he always finds a way to win. And his ex stable you know mate has you now know found you know is, the blueprint if he, to beat him. If Akoli develops an inside game, right? Ha, you can want to he be, though? I can't buy that. No, he's going to grab. He's going to grab. No, if he developed an inside game, he'd be a problem because he knows how to get in there all the time. But if he could work like clean inside work. He'd be insufferable as a guy. But I thought that's bro. I came to that thought of uh, if he gets that nice little Mexican trainer inside fighter, he's grabbing, bro. Mm. Soon what, if what you teach him how to get the inside, teach? successfully, he's holding. What does mm. the crunk style teach? It's like distance exactly. and bouncing around. Um, yeah, but he wasn't doing it. He's not executing it right. He's not. Executing well, he's that gonna right. he's gonna have the rematch, and like I said, there's a possibility mm. that he can win. I ain't gonna sit here and say my man's gonna get smoked. Again, I can't do that. The, the, he's got a possibility. It's a low possibility, but there's still a possibility. But after that, I think he'll move. He'll move weight. You think he'll he's not? I don't, I don't think the heavyweight thing is, makes any sense for him at this point. I'm not I moving. I think he'll do because, it, though. Nah, because when you start clinching the man and he's much bigger and just shrugs off your clinch, bro, you're Imagine, in hell. and you get ragged around the ring like a doll. It's rough. <laughs> That's you know the, what's crazy, it's, yeah? Even Mark, because well, Mark Key's in the thing saying, KG, find an angle. Bro, I watched the fight back and I couldn't yeah. see the angles. Even if I, I can't lie. I'll be sitting here lying. I watched it back. The guy was from early in the rounds. Imagine throwing some of your best shots. Yeah. And he smart. When he said I smothered my work, no, bro, you went more than smothered the work. Like it yeah. didn't even look like work again. It just looked horrid, bro. The whole thing here yeah, from beginning to end was horrid even mm. after he's saying bro learn from your mistakes fam after the after the referee says hey stop doing that and you do it again and the maddest thing, thing is default maddest thing factory is, settings he was landing the jab and he was landing the straight right all you yes, have to do which is, is his keep, shot keep yeah repeating just keep the distance keep the distance find it again he's not going to take them all night long 
But whenever he threw those shots, he landed and just collapsed into the clinch. I was just like, this is really frustrating to watch. It's but always he's never been in a beautiful fight. Have you ever watched any of his fights and you've been like, oh my God, that I, I think it was C's lack, you know, the one where he cla- where he got into the body and, and dropped it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that to me, that was the best fight I've ever seen him in. But all of the other fights seem to be very, they have the same, yeah. you know, similar well, viewing guys, style. Like, the hard thing is, because he's knocking guys out quite early, like it was ending his fights, he always, because you know, okoli has got this thing that he just looks laid back at all times. Even when he lost on the, um, even when he lost on the weekend, still look laid back. There's this thing where you need to, I feel like, he has no, to wait. It's an act, man. That's, There's no that's way. That's no, 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 no. Some people have that demeanor. That's their personality. Nah, man. In their mind. Nah, in nah, their nah, mind. Man. I, I, I'm, 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 nah, that's that's pure acting because I'm the, I'm there nah. kicking up people in the changing room. I <laughs> I'm like, I yeah, like doing all that smiley thing, but yeah, disagree. someone's getting it. I this disagree. is what I'm saying. I, I've, got I, a similar, I've got a similar temperament to that laid back energy where no matter it's going off in my mind, but to on the outside, it don't look like I'm really no, but I get I can relate to. Trav, I, get, Trav, I don't as as your best man. I'm gonna talk as your best man right now. Go on. I know you're laid back. If we need to wake up the dog in you, it wakes up. Oh, and, and we, we and know like that, that we know that because we've we seen him that. kick off on here with about yeah. Anthony Yard, and he went even fighting. No, so you need to just hold that corner, allow it. Exactly, I'm bro. Saying, I'm saying <laughs> stop he, it. Stop I'm just it. saying. It's on. It's on the same line, bro. Like if you. Know. Bro, I've seen. I when I when this guy's gonna wake up, bro. Trav, we can wake up at any moment. If it's like you're laid back, I know that you move. You're cool, yeah. But when it comes to it, if it's like, all right, we, this is not looking good now, bro. You said in that fight, he just has to kill him. That's the all he can do is he has to seek death. And I said, look at my boy. This is listen to what he said. <laughs> Everyone else is like, right, he really needs a knockdown. Travis <laughs> King on the show and goes, Yeah, he has to kill him. Next round, he has to. <laughs> what? I heard that, but I was, I was too discombobulated from what was uh, getting on in the fight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trying to relate, bro. Oh, oh, God, yeah, stop, stop. <laughs> That's enough. It's, it's, it's emotional. But like mm. I said, he's he's mm. got a chance. He's got a chance to win. He has got a chance. I don't know if he will, but he's got a chance. But I don't want to see. They're not going to make React poor next because that's just throwing money down the drain with an investment, and it that's just you can't be doing that to him. So they're probably going to link up React poor with some other try and get him a world title shot or whatever, who, and who and then the, probably who do you yeah? reckon is the most hurt right now because there's different. Is it do you reckon is Ben Shalom? Or or Okoli because Ben Shalom is looking at a stable right now. One second, let me land this. Ben Shalom's looking at a stable. He's looking. He's looked at Boatsy over there. He thought, oh, Boatsy, nah, hopefully turned up in the yellow. He turned up in the yellow jacket over there. I said, okay, trying to get into the source. And then after <laughs> you got um, you got what happened with Okoli, and he's thinking, I've invested mad money on these two guys. And Akoli, what hurts I'm more, like, money or or pride? What hurts more? I'll ask uh, you, gentlemen. But listen, it depends. This type of game here, <laughs> yo, that man, are, he's hurting on both sides. I think, and, and I, I don't t- know. I think Ben Shalom is the one hurting the most, you know, because he's probably looking at life now and thinking, I'm losing. You know, put it this way. I'm, I'm, if I'm I'm Put it, put it this way, KG. If I like to say, say you're my exclusive geezer and that, yeah, and yeah. I'm taking you out and I'm showing you off and yeah. everyone in public sees it and then two twos, you just run off with somebody else and then like, like a dickhead. Man. Oh, that's not good. Well, hold on, no. No, it's not good. <laughs> well, hold on, no. So you I'm going to say from the promotional side because a on... can be recovered. You lot are sleeping on Riappor, though. You don't think Riappor you... wanted to be the one to give him his first L? Of course he did. But the, the gods wouldn't allow it because Richard has said that he's wanted both fights. He sat down and he spoke to me and said that he wanted fights. He was supposed to go for uh, Billiam, uh, Billiam Smith next. They offered that fight. Mm. to him all of that all of that's there but they're, they're obviously trying to build Richard to get him get him his belt and it so they can obviously go for some unification but they need to work it out. is what it is this is boxing politics and it there's October. business and there's boxing business so this is your day I'm not gonna lie to you and say just because not on, on Akoli losing but purely nah, on, definitely you not are, no you are right I like our personal one because I've been calling you I'll be I've been moving mad so I have to hold this corn today <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, you've been rinsing me. Victory. 
<laughs> it's like my guy didn't even get to fight your guy. That's the worst part about this. <laughs> That's probably why he's pissed because he looked a bit pissed after in the interviews, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Kind of like frustrated. Like he said, sure, I'm, that I'm happy I didn't lose to that prick. And I'm like, bro, come on, man. That's not even your bar right now. Like, that's a crazy weird. bar still. Weird. Who said that? What did you say? Sorry. That's what he said. He's, oh, you didn't see Coley. what he said? To, nah. Akoli said that to um, React in, in the post fight. In the post he fight. Said, uh, he goes, uh, what you did know, he say? Lo- he goes, losing to Bill and Smith, he's a great guy. Like, we've worked together. I know what he's about. He goes, I'm happy I didn't lose to that prick. Talking about React for. What did Richard do? Uh, the camera didn't go that way. Yeah, the camera wasn't on him still. But he probably just would have smiled at him, innit? And just, like, Damn. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so he took out his venting he took out his anger on on, on Richard and Riyak oh, didn't even talk anything he didn't even say anything crazy afterwards if I was Riyak I'd have been going mad in the IFLs he weren't even doing that you can't what's the point that's kicking a man when he's really really down fam probably that's because of them, them men are on a silencing tip so he's probably not even allowed but anyway say less alright <laughs> listen October look after yourself take care oh man you I know even... what bro in Yo, my man yeah in my mind listen. I imagine one second in my mind, I imagined like Monday night smoke. It's the day after um Ocoli's mashed up Richard fam. And I'm on here like, see, look now, all the people that's calling him a hugger. Whoa, hug your emotions, fam. <laughs> I don't know. I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't know. I'm gonna right. go start out there. Bro, and then, bro, bro today's move, the day. Move, move on. It's done. Okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, Himanshu, bro, I didn't see Dev. Dev, um, he, I didn't see Dev sign his comments. Still, let, oh, let me know what they, what he said, bro. Hey, um, all right, let's bring. Yeah, your hands are looking oh, crazy. Yeah. We, it was it was a mad time. Still, I was. I saw a couple. I saw a couple times he raised his hand. I was thinking to myself, "Jeez, what is that, bro?" <laughs> but we're live, so I couldn't even save him. <laughs> it's mad. All right, we're gonna bring in Jack. Jack, what's no, going on, bro? Hold on. You're a bad friend, fam. You're the bro, guy. That we're live. Lips, we're bro. live. You want me to no, highlight? You could Whoa. just do the friendship one and be like, Whoa. yo. I nearly typed in the private chat to try. Private and... chat? There's Whoa, all the but, ways. But the man them that are waiting to go on in the private chat, bro. I didn't want to play the team, friend, man. Fam. Bro, look, man. Do you want me to go so you can sort this out? No, hey. no, you're here, Jack, man. What's going on? <laughs> What's happening, Jack, bro? Five, man. Right, lads. <laughs> oh, oh, good, man. Talk to us. Uh, I'll say now that I've never rated a code. I'm not it's like I don't like his personality. Like, I've just never like seen him as that guy. So like, even when he was at match room, I never rated him as like the crazy next thing because he just doesn't have that that thing for me. AJ had that thing coming through. He yeah. never had it for me. But I'm not gonna kick him while he's down. But the, the train of thought I've had with this is it's not saying what I'm getting Joseph Parker energy from it. Like he has oh. attri- he has attributes. He has the ability. He doesn't have that dog. He doesn't have that thing that goes. It's on. I've got to go now. He just does. He's not built like that. He just doesn't have it. That's interesting. Mm. He's saying he's he's giving Joseph. Well, yeah. To be fair, you know, when has he been in there with someone that was swinging for the hills against him, and then he he took them out? I'm saying this is the point I made yeah earlier. I said, bro, we haven't seen not destroying his career, but because mm. of the challenges. It's never had to draw that side out of him, right? And because he, he, let's say the early ones, not, not, and that doesn't shut down that those are good victories, but you need someone just to say, okay, so what level is this at? But the thing, yeah, it's a weird one though, man, because like, just for nuance though, like, a Coley can clap someone out of there, fam. Like, I, I honestly don't think that, I think the mental block is more so than the ability of a Coley. I think a Coley's ability is, is better than what we've seen, but it's whether, it's whether or not we will ever see. I would agree with that because uh, have you seen the, his amateur fight again? He, again, a very brief amateur career. Went to Rio, lost in the first round. He, before he went to the Olympics, he got sparked by a Cuban in one round. You thought him grabbing uh, Chris Williams' legs were bad. He was doing mm-hmm. it worse in that one. So I think he's he's got a, not not saying he's got a bad chin, but he's got right. that much, that long levers and he clinches that much. It's not been tested. And I've, I, again, like it's not the cruiserweight division of when Usyk was unified. It's a weaker division now than it was back then. Let's yeah. face it: if he was face, if he fought Marius Bradis, Murat Gassiev, Usyk, any of them for a world championship, he probably would have lost by now. Let's face it: he's fought mm. not like B level opposition. He's fought the opposition he's had available to him, but mm. who, who who can you name on that re- resume? This is what yeah. I just think. This, exactly. is the, this that's the that's the Glo- that's the problem. Glo- is, is, Glo- 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 is probably the one. And he was what four or five years past it. 
Oh, mate. Again, I'm, know, not say, I'm not going to say anything too much on that because he's fought who put in front of him. Fair play to him. Again, we ain't mm. boxers. Like, if you if we said fight Gulak in now, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good, mate. But yeah, absolutely. Like, he's fought who could fight, but there's not been. I, I just don't think there is that thing that goes. Like, says you, like you said, Trev, like he's got in the next round, he's got to kill him. He's got to get him, lay hands Ooh. on him now. He went out. He was like, oh, mate, I'll just hug him for another three minutes. Almost over. Yeah. 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 There was no urgency. Like he, he said it himself, he's bounced on his feet. He weren't that tired. Mm, so mm-hmm. couldn't he just have him at long range, drop that right hand in and do what he likes from there? Like oh. he just didn't have that thing to say, I'm losing. I've got to go. And he was fine with it afterwards. Like this even, is the, even the, the man, afterwards, guy afterwards, he was fine with losing a world championship. Yeah. Let's talk about this though. Let's talk about that point. The one twelve one twelve scorecard. Oh, what man. is that? I, the, it what was is that, that fight? I, I couldn't care who won. I think Christmas have de- like he deserved to win because he was actually on trying to fight. But no, but a one twelve like, scorecard, even with all those disallowed, like you're talking about <laughs> points being disallowed, knockdowns and everything. That's crazy. I don't know what that. So <laughs> what did? <laughs> It's mad. Billy Smith, yeah, could have done nothing in that fight for him to say, you know, you won this, according to that judge. 112, 112. How? <laughs> so, whatever Akoli was weird. doing, he likes that inside hug work. I don't want to say, like, <laughs> the, the first thing everyone says always about the scorecard is corruption, but how much money is Ben Shalom investing in a Lawrence Akoli? <laughs> like, how much money? Like, he's, he's probably sitting well, ringside. Buatzi ain't working out. Akoli ain't working out. Who else does he have? That's like, the type of scorecard you pay for. That's the that's the budget that you had. The one twelve, one twelve, the most confusing yeah. scorecard that you could have ever produced. Even if he had a, a one fifteen work thirteen, that would have got less attention than the one twelve, one twelve. Exactly, it's it's one of the oh. weird ones. But all right, but, let's move on. Though again, what do you call it? Getting too much too soon has shown up again. Lara versus Wood, bro. I, like. I'm so disappointed in Lara, yeah. I don't even think they should let him pull up back in Mexico because the way Wood was rocking the um is rocking the sombrero and he's stretching, he's doing yoga stretches. And I was thinking this is not how Mexico <laughs> wanna be seen. <laughs> no, yeah, grab that, grab that, please, grab that. <laughs> he was going <laughs> crazy. He was he was moving, he done the in-ring post workout. <laughs> Took bro, that was absolutely what what are you thinking, Lara, right now? Do you reckon? Back to the drawing board, get serious again. No, I think it's because li- people seem to forget before that first Warrington fight, he was literally no one. No one had ever heard of him. He was a random True. Donnie in Mexico banging True. out True. random other Mexicans. Like, so now he's had what three, four fights, or it's big money fights. Like, mm. if that was any other human, like, like you were saying, like the dedication it takes to have to be a champion and stay in shape, it's yeah. one thing. He's made his life is set now. Like, he's probably from a poor, like, town he's set now you don't care so again he could come back but for a normal person who's been given what up to five million i'd say around about that number like he's made it man like he's he's, d- he's, chilling. Living, it. he's living his greatest andy ruiz life right now but it's, it's a <laughs> shame he's because... still living off that paycheck from the uh, aj fight <laughs> still ordering kfc off it man one andy... payday could just mess up the fight you know that's absolutely insane even when they went, because he went to another trainer, right? And then the, the trainer was like, I can't work with this guy. He's just, that money's changed him. He's you not know what? three times in four years. Let that sink in. That money is different. You know what, yeah? Let's be real. You know what somebody's rich fighter should just do just to throw a fighter off his camp if he's the mandatory fighter? Just drop five mil in his account. Just take that. Hold that, bro. Kill all of his motivation. Quick mind game at <laughs> the press conference. Mate, I'll pay for your sparring partners. Don't worry about it. Just throw him off the game. <laughs> man, that's just paying man off. You're literally talking about him. Five mil. Boom, go on. Get ready for me. This yeah, guy is not training again. I was watching I was watching the live watch long, and uh, yeah, you're right. Josh Warrington is shadow boxing all around his house. <laughs> he is loving life, man. hundred <laughs> percent He oh, does man. not rubbing his hands together like, oh, we are going. <laughs> he does not need to see Lara ever again. Yeah. Like, 
There's, in, the amount of excuses. He, he's going to pull in a Mir Khan. He's going to go to I'm a celebrity before he fights him again. He's Hell not yeah. fighting that guy again. What made me laugh is all the talk about how, yeah, he definitely wants him next because it's personal. This one's personal because he fully spat on him. Now it's just not him, personal. Yeah, he he just <laughs> him at all. He was, I was like, oh, Lee, well, then, yeah, let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I well, that fight will be good, though. Warrington versus Lee Wood will be a good fight, though. It'll be a good scrap. Nah, yeah. man, that's not where I want Warrington. I want Leewood to go and do other things. I don't want um, Warrington in the mix until he sees Lara again. I don't care, man. Yeah. Uh, I know this probably looked uh, blue, but have you seen that uh, stuff going on with Tyson Fury about offering an AJ fight in September? Ah, uh, waste of it's time. trash. Like, <laughs> what I don't get is, this is angle that no one's mentioned. How much do you think he's going to get for a uh, fight in AJ at this stage? Be realistic. Um... He just, no, I, don't, yeah. I don't even want to go down this road. I don't want it to happen at all. Like, <laughs> I'd, sorry, I'd not like, at all. Just not so, in this time. Not in this estimate, time. I'd say like 50 mil. He, the reported number from the Saudi deal for, to fight Usyk once is about 120 mil. Why is he not seeing Usyk for that much money if he's an easier fight? Because like, he's scared. No, he's look, scared of Usyk. It, Fury, yeah, is, is like... It's hard to call him a like total clown here, but Fury nice does yeah, not total dickhead. Fury does not want to see Usyk ever. They're talking about a guy they called a pumped up middleweight, yeah, or whatever he's been calling him for this a pumped up cruiserweight, yeah. Why can't you see him? These guys are offering you a lifetime's money again. The money that you was gonna get before, where it didn't make sense and the splits were horrible and this, that, and the other, they blown that out of the water because you're just gonna fight in Wembley before. And they couldn't get over line. That's when Frank and them guys were trying to get busy. Now you go straight to Saudi. Them lot said, hey, here is the bag. Yeah, this is the split. But big man, forget about what he's getting. We're giving you this. You've never had this before. This money is so good, yeah. We, you have to worry for Andy Ruiz if he got paid like this. You have to worry what the kind of celebration he would have. He'd be have. dead. He'd be yeah. dead of obesity by now if he this got paid that much. Saying, AJ, AJ doesn't show that level of excitement. As soon as AJ heard about this, he said, hey, all fights till, till December, cancelled. AJ's got money. So it was an offer that a, everybody in, in the world of boxing was excited about, but one man. And now you got to say, well, why are you not excited? There has to be something in the way. And the, all that can be in the way is fear. You're thinking now, you built up this great um, reputation of nice. being the gypsy king, I'm a fighting man, this, that, and the other. Bro, all, we ain't seen you fight. We ain't seen you fight, bro. We have not seen it. It's the and, the reason, the and the reason why I say don't even entertain it is because you know it's a waste of time. He's you know fine. it's not real. He He's just wants to waste... The stage, like... That's right. He just wants to waste your time and just chat your name, and then go and announce that he's going to fight Dempsey because everyone's scared of me. What's no, crazy, bro. Forget the crazy service. is, I guarantee if you thought, if he, Frank Warren called up Frank Sanchez, Filip Hergovic, Gilles Zhang, Joe Joyce coming off a loss, they'd all say yes. That's right. But who is he fighting? Remember when AJ was coming back off that Usyk loss, Dempsey Hakeem was floated as a name. The public rejected it that much. Off the back of two losses, he went, now nah, yeah. I'll fight Franklin instead. But this is the guy who's the undefeated champion's meant to be fighting. It's, it's a joke, man. That guy is a dickhead. Like, he should be stripped at this stage for not, not fighting a top 15 fighter. Facts. No, I think it's the hardship about the stripping of the titles is literally because until they sort out what's going on with the other fighters... You can't go and see him. Unfortunately, it's, it's a joke. There's no a fight booked, and he fights with top rank. That's who he's co-signed with, so that's an easy fight to make. Facts. He don't want to, bro. He could have fought. He could have fought the guy that was in the ring. Remember when they done the three man face off? <laughs> they done three man face off. Yeah, and none <laughs> of those. He ain't seen none of those. Like all the guys that he's been calling out, it's crazy. They said, that, and I feel for my again. I've had a bad couple of weeks. I've had a bad couple of months in boxing. Because my guy got banged out by Zhang. Zhang destroyed my guy, you know, in a like, and he was confused. Remember, they said Terminator, they just rebranded him on that night. The guy was juggernaut, fam. Rebranding, called him Terminator. I get smashed up, fam. It's mad. And now he's got to go and do the rematch. It's not where it's he's not. Oh, he's um, not. Jack, Jack, just quickly, just want to get your what do you think about Mick Conlon uh, and Lopez? Lopez is. Like he's one of them. Like again, he's just he's he's where Monsieur Lara was when he first burst on. Like people are like, oh shit, he's actually fucking good. Like yeah. people thought he was awkward. He's like a random guy. He smashed up Josh Warrington. 
matched mm-hmm. up really, uh, Michael Conlon. Thing with Conlon, like I don't really like. I've never followed him that much, but there's a YouTube channel I watch. Who's like who's an Irish YouTube channel for boxing, so he yeah. obviously knows him quite well. And the way he laid out was like he's done the most to avoid building fights to a world championship. He wants to get a fast track to a world championship. Like right. he's never had that in in between fight to build him up mm-hmm. to it. So he's jumped into a hard fight. Like apparently he moved down a vision to fight Stephen Fulton before people knew who Stephen Fulton was. Then he was like, oh, now I'm, I'm dodging that, I'm moving back up. Then he, he thought, oh, Lee, uh, he was like, Kanzu, don't want to fight him. But oh, Lee Wood, I'll take that because he's lost before. Mm, so I, I'll get the okay. vibe from him that he, he's like trying to do his most to get a world championship, but he's not doing the work to like prove his skill to be there. And that must be frustrating because of how close he came against Wood. Like he yeah. literally was right there. And just yeah, that final true. moment, that's oh, really cool. that's got to be devastating because this Lopez knockout was really bad. Yeah. Like from, from the round, from like round three, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. He's not going to be able to mix it, it with coming. this man. Yeah, it was coming on strong. The power was just too much. Yeah, Lopez looked big as well. He looked strong, like yeah, heavy set, but. It yeah, really is Lara. He really is like a, a, yeah. a second coming of Mauricio Lara. Man. I just hope that he doesn't go crazy and enjoy himself, man. I think that's everyone's yeah. got to just deal with that side. Bro, Jack, pick up. Thank you for the call, fam. Take care, so bro. The guy that was waiting, call, call back in, fam. Who's that? Men- 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 from- was in there. Yeah, he was in there. For yeah, me. yeah. Jump in, man. Let's talk to you. Um, bro, so what do we do? Like, let's just on a Coley, like in the rematch. Yeah. What are you saying? What are you what are you doing? How are you getting? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think it's one of those things. If they can if he can get out of his own head and box, like, you know what I mean? It's like what you know what it's like? It's like looking at, and I'm I'm not making a direct comparison here, but I remember when Audley Harrison was having his moment, right? And everyone, when they used to speak about Audley Harrison, used to say he's got the body of a, a championship heavyweight, but he doesn't get out of his own head and allow himself to box, mm-hmm. right? And this feels like a similar description, but we're talking about someone who's reached a world level. So I look at it and I'm thinking, if you can get out of your own head and be the six foot five power puncher that you are, you have the attributes and the ability to win. But if you can't, and the mental obstacles, they're not small ones. Yeah, this is years deep now. They're quite ironed in. So if this is who you're going to be and you can't get out of your own way, then then no, then no, I don't, I don't think it's possible for him to win in the rematch. But he has the attributes to do it. He's just got to find a way to tap into it. So if you ask you who I'd bet or who I'd say, <laughs> I'm not betting on that fight. That's the that's it, bro. Ah, bro. Frustrating one because I, I I like the guy, man. I like him. Him being champ was a, was quite a fun time. He's got to get that back because we still want to see the 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 react poor situation, fam. Yeah, <laughs> do you know it's getting against, and we we probably. We probably didn't look into it enough thinking, you know, going up against Shane, going up against your ex bar and like these men really know you, like they fully talk on the phone. You know, like they'll be like, yeah, I, I trained him that one time. There's that one, they, he doesn't like that shot. Every time when I, I ask him to find it and he always struggles with it. And he's like, yeah, I know the shot you're talking about. I've thrown it. Yeah, remember that spar that we did when we was preparing for thingy? They have nah, all of that. I tell, you the combo, I tell you the convo that you're sleeping on. It's the one where Bill and Swift is talking to his boy and his boy's like, Raj, you reckon you could beat your Coley? He's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, obviously it wouldn't happen because, you know, we're all in the same camp and that. But yeah, yeah, defo, defo. Like, man's been knowing for years. He's knowing <laughs> that, yeah. He might have been knowing for the, for a long time. You know when he's right next to in the camp, bro. You can't even call him a mole. Man was just in the camp, fighting <laughs> the actual mole, hiding in play, hiding in plain sight, bro. Damn, it's the nuts one. It's it might be, one. maybe it might be better going up against like a, and this is a shift, and it's it's can't even be a crazy take. Don't put no much weight on this take. Again, the unknown fighting react. I know he's not shared any. They haven't been in the ring doing any sparring or not like that. So it is the you have to learn and deal with the person that's in front of yeah, you where yeah. the other guy's got so much prior knowledge you know what i'm saying like remember think about us now we me and you did um me and you did that back and forth clash before oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah yeah with no information it was just what you call it you see if someone said hey guys here's team max a million pound each clash we would literally be able to drum up 
It'd be insane. All the conversations, bro. All, all the stories. Oh my goodness. On It'd the be table. Nuts. Nah, be nah, nuts. a million's not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would <laughs> be million's very wild. No, 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 I might have to be 15 M's. 15 M's. The ass gonna say 20 million. I'm disappointed in you, bro. Fif- bruh, 15 M's. Saying this. You did 15. I'll be like, I'm like 15 M's, but I'll get him the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna take 15. I was considering 20. That's crazy. Nah, these comments are insane. Man said, give Trevor too much training cap. He'll do with Harcolio. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. <laughs> you lot don't realize how big Lawrence Sicoli is, <laughs> bro. I was absolutely surprised when that man walked in that time with this interview. Fam. And Henry, fam, I thought insane? Henry was going to be the one to clear the room, fam. Bro, Henry came in first, and I said, "Yo, these all right, man, are this massive." Left, <laughs> those left, chap. We just had to do our best. And the <laughs> thing is, yeah, one... <laughs> we were laughing and joking. Like towards the end, they were like, "Yeah, no, I thought this would have been a setup. Like I thought you would have had like Deal Jumper in here and that." And I was just like. Suppose we did, we would have got absolutely <laughs> smashed to bits. No, but we, we <laughs> we've got this one rule we say just give our all, fam. If a boxer goes crazy, the Travis is gonna give our all just because we don't want the footage to look crazy. Just, just keep the camera rolling. If that's how it's keep gotta the go, going, keep the footage there. Give our all. <laughs> That's our rule, you know, because at any time one of these boxers can just decide, you know what, I don't like the way you lot talk about us. And that's your day, <laughs> and that's your day. So we just go and give our all. <laughs> hey, so so what do we make here of Anthony Joshua right now? Yeah, because he put a post on his story, right? And it's a it's a picture of Akoli and Bill and Smith, and they're just doing that post fight thing. And he goes behind the smiles are sacrifices, emotions, losses, and wins. All for one and one for all. Onto the next. React poor. What are you saying? He tags in react poor. And wait, I'm looking did, at that. Did, wait, start again. Re, you know. Re, AJ this? AJ speaks in riddles in it, so it's like there's it's bare like he's tagged them both in um, Akoli and Ben and Smith, and he goes behind the smiles are sacrifices, emotions, losses and wins, all for one and one for all. On to the next. React poor. What are you saying? Question mark. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking. I don't know what his relationship with 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 Akoli is today. Yeah, I know it can't be bad, but it can't be the same. As it was, yeah, it's, it can't be the same because remember that who got the who got the trainer test out, who got the trainer roll out for React Paul got the Garcia tester first. So he got the Garcia tester, he got the Garcia roll out, and that was that was an eyebrow raiser for me. I said, Yo. Yeah, yeah, you met it in the same camp together. What's going on? Because that was I, your boy, and he clearly looks like he will talk to another trainer. I thought you guys were mates. He just said, Hey, I just want you to see what this thing looks like because I'm thinking of going that way. So if you could be the guy. To do that for me, you can talk to Shane. Shane yeah. will understand. He'll be like, Of course, you're my boy. You gave money to my mom. We got that relationship. The relationship must not be the same. Like, it, it that's a same. mad one to message. And he tagged Thingy as well. He react tagged me react for to say, What are you saying? Question mark. I'm like, he... Is that mad? I feel like that's a bit. I feel like it's. I, I don't know, man. Okay, wait. Let's point. Let's point to me, bro. So, like, imagine, yeah. I got banged by a fighter, yeah? I got banged by Takam, but you're my boy, yeah? Okay, but okay. I've got my eyes on throw another heavyweight into the scene. Don't throw someone crazy. Someone just cool. Um, <laughs> Chisora. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I got banged by Takam, yeah? You're doing the mad, I don't know what this means. And mm-hmm. then you hit, Chis- you act Chisora on the, because I've already been defeated to Takam. I'm already hurting enough. And you putting us both in here is crazy. And you add the man that I've been beefing with and saying, what am I saying? On my post. Wait, I don't understand. It's a, it's a I'm calling still. you. I'm yeah, calling yeah, that's, you. that's a phone call Yo, still. Are what you that... mad with what everything was... I'm feeling right now? What are you doing? <laughs> and it's hard to tell where a Coley stands on it, yeah, because right? he did an interview in the lead up to this thing, right? And he basically said to the, the, the reporter goes, oh, who would you fight? Who would you like? Would you fight Dillian White? And he's like, absolutely. He's like, do you think you'd win? Da, 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 da. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, da, da, da. He goes, how would you? How would a fight with you and AJ go? He goes, don't want to talk about that. Then he goes, how would how would it go with you and Fury? Don't want to talk about that. It's, it's techie because obviously same trainer. But mm. it doesn't give anything away 
on the, the AJ situation. But at the same time, it's like, what is you man's relationship? Because that 258 thing just broke down. And that was that. Are you sure he tagged a Coley in this thing? He bro? tagged a Coley and Billum Smith underneath the picture of them with their and then arms he added around each other. And React Poor at the bottom. React Poor, what are you uh, saying? Question mark. And I'm calling you. And I'm calling you. I'm calling you. <laughs> That's that. Don't, you know, it don't feel like a mutual friend. It don't no, feel I'm like a mutual you. friend in that moment. I'm calling you and saying, what do you mean by this? He tagged a Coley. Everybody was tagged in that post. Billum, Akoli, and React Poor. I'm calling to say what does that this feel, mean? That feels like he's saying, React Poor, you ready to go and touch these men up? It just felt Absolutely. very much like... You, you know, man h- laughs and hugs and stuff, and he said, this this, this killer that's there, because you man are doing laughs and hugs, and look at this killer. What are you saying about these men, then? That's, wow. not, that's not right, though. Uh, that's, yeah. that's mad. When you break it down and deep it, yeah? And because AG does the riddle thing, we'll never know. We don't know AJ will means. tell us, listen, they're both lions, and I think both, all lying. the lions in the Serengeti should just know about like when and, and, and you know AJ's gonna come and be like, all right, when you watch Lion King, yeah, and just go straight into the <laughs> wildest because Timon and Pumba was just another analogy for not accepting life as it is and Akuna, you know running Akuna, away from your Akuna Mata, right? Okay, That's now great. hold that thought. When you go back to the pride, you see they're both champions. <laughs> Where are you taking us right now? <laughs> and how does this link to oh these men? AJ, 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 what the hell's going on, man? You know you can't talk to AJ. <laughs> AJ, stop this now. You be in oh. a serious moment with AJ, and he's just bringing it to some weird analogy, fam. You know, Ron, it's been a fight outside the rave. Yeah, so basically, he's come, he's come, and as you can see, they're locking horns, right? Because they're both champions, and they're both passionate. Yeah? You know, <laughs> you know what the problem is? AJ's still stuck in his championship privilege, because I think, you know when you're a champion, you don't ask questions. So a guy can get that one off, and because we just know, oh, champion, everyone respects your thing. No one says, what? <laughs> Say, hey, <Bro>. AJ. <laughs> Thank when you. you're the champ, when you're the champ, you just get to court attention, and it's just, like, bro. I remember one interview where Floyd was just in there with a bag of reporters, waffle, bro. <laughs> Every answer led back to his record. Every single answer. What advice do you have for fighters? Um, you know, enough for Oscar De La Hoya, Ricky Hayton, Shane Mosley, bro. He was looping anything back. But when you're not the champ, now you just look at men and go... You just look oh, mad. Oh, come on, Floyd. Get over yourself, <laughs> mate. <laughs> the game changes. It's nuts. Nah, I, I hope AJ is going to give us... Extreme. And he'll be mad at our breakdown of where it is. He's like, I've never meant that. He he's wondering... Thinks, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Meant that. I never 100%. meant that. 100%. 100%. That's the problem with you guys. You look you're... at something that I've said, and you think, <laughs> I... When I why That's I tagged why I all the fighters in there because I thought this is a good division and That's I want to see everyone mixing it up and be like, it wasn't it was just love for the whole division and all the lions meeting each other. That's why in I don't one post. Media. That's why I don't talk to media. <laughs> what? Why did you tag him? The gut. Your brethren just lost. And you take his off. Do it. You can. You can do it. You can. <laughs> You just tagged his ops. I don't understand how you want us to see peace and love in this post. It's the media. <laughs> I know whenever somebody's got us against the ropes and they think they're really about to get us out of here, they start saying, look, you men are media. I'm like, we are not media. Because media know that we don't like them. <laughs> I don't know where we are in this. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're cooking AJ and I don't like it. <laughs> we're not cooking AJ, fam. It's just... <laughs> it's just what happens when AJ speaks. He just he, everyone just over scrutinizes it. <laughs> and all of this feels true, bro. He, just, <laughs> he could attack. He could attack the call. He said, "Great performance." Unfortunately, he came up short. No worries, you'll be back. And everyone would be like, oh, he's just being shady because he left two five eight. There's no way. There's no winning when you're those guys. It's just how it goes. Oh well. <laughs>
Um, we'll be delving into that and understanding what's going on in the mind of um in the mind of all of them, man. I, honestly, I mean, honestly, I bro, bro. I don't, uh, I'm just thinking about it now, though. If I'm just scrolling my brother's post and I see he's tagged me in it, and my ops are being tagged in there as well, <laughs> I know mad. how I, I know how my mind is set up. I know. The chair. I'm flipping the chair in my own house. I'm flipping the chair before I phone, and I'm starting the call on the calm one. Yo, what's going on, bro? Let's see your post. <laughs> Yo, are you getting like that? Oh, yeah, bro. Because it's, it's, no. it's the poker face thing, fam. I still want to come and come. Yo, I got my bro. Yeah, fam. Yeah, I just, I just see yeah. your post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, how's everything? Family good, yeah? Oh, is that how you're doing it? Bro, I'm coming in normal. Oh, no, you, you, I'm be- no, I think my one's I'm better than yours. In, I'm coming in like a psycho. I'm coming in on some, as a family in that, yeah? Oh, that, that's cold, man. Listen, I'm just on your post, yeah? I just see you tag, I just see you tag, I just see you tag my men <laughs> under my, under no, my post. No, listen, and that. wait, hold on. Mm. You're both lying. Here, you're, you, he's a lion and you're a lion. But my and... thing is that don't make no sense though, bro. No, because see when animals saying? meet and then... Like you got deep mm. because no one was expecting animals to have social media, so that's yeah. why I thought. Nah, I hear that, but what I'm saying is obviously you know he's my up and that you know me and him got a little thing. I know that might be mm. your dog and that, but he's a, he's still a dickhead to me, so that's why I'm confused why you're nah. posting all of us in the same Hello? thing. And that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just buying time because <laughs> you know when the call starts friendly, but the pace the pace lets you know that he's actually mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't understand where you could have got there. Like for me personally, like he's a dickhead. And you know he's a dickhead. And you know I don't like men, but you're tagging him in my thing. Yeah, you know I'm saying that's why I just thought I shout you. Suffer the tone. You know, I shout um... you. check in and see what's good. Nah, so he's training you. What? That's, you gonna... that's not even re- that's not even relevant to my point, you know, bro. I don't even like how you're swerving. Just focus. Talk about my men, bro. Have you seen the new Lucasaid thing that I've done? Because I've got the link, yeah, and... But, hello? But, but watch the sicko thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I saw that. That was cold. That was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Listen, you know, you're know, you not getting anywhere, so you just have to accept... You got to accept what he's saying. <laughs> you just have to accept where he's taking you in this call, bro. Oh, man. I ain't weird yet. Hold on. I'm hearing that the Lawrence Acoli has just done a, a, a statement. Apparently, let me just let's just touch on this quickly before we go. Yeah, go on, because I know we. <laughs> All right, statement. Oh, raw statement. Thanks, nice. real statement. Bad. I'm gonna read it. I am pleased to confirm that Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing, and I have collaboratively concluded a statement. I would like to express my gratitude to Eddie and Matchroom for their guidance and support for my career. From my professional debut to becoming a world champion and for the opportunities to win various titles along the way. In the heat of our discussions, statements were made that are regrettable. Nevertheless, I'm pleased to have ended things on good terms with Eddie and Matchroom, and I'm glad that we can put this behind us and I can fully focus on the next stage of my career. I would like to emphasize emphasize that the particulars of our resolution will remain confidential and I will not be making any further comment on the matter. I would like to know why now this bro you see when you you see that statement not on just me being who i am yeah you know when you know that he's gonna be sitting down with kugan soon (laughs) and you're like hey we gotta get in front of this (laughs) we gotta get in front of this we gotta get in front of this we gotta get in front of this (laughs) this because that's no i want i'm wait bro if we if we know yeah that our sit down is coming and they still hate us they can really damage the branding he, get yeah. in front of it at, at, absolutely because oh, now at my. least because you know eddie one thing about eddie is eddie's like, the only one that mean. had a good weekend eddie's he the only mean. one that had a good weekend bro yeah but see, eddie's mean when it comes down to it. if he decides he, that i don't like you no more bro did you see eddie things. talking to ahara davis Hmm. Ahara Davis was, <laughs> yo, <we're... laughs> brother, I want to cook this subject. You know what? <laughs> we're doing this in the pod. I'm not doing this right now because, bro, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn right now is sitting there thinking, I've got all of the leverage <laughs> from this weekend. I'm the only one who's fighting one of all the promoters. Everybody out there, 
You lot look crazy. You lot even had your fight on the same time as mine. Your guy got knocked out. Sad to hear that. Your guy over there looked crazy. Lee Wood, however, went back in there and beat my man. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, yeah, hey, listen, and when yeah. someone's that happy talking to Cubes, it's oh. a mad thing. It's a, like you, you know that any interview is gonna start with like six minutes of funny bands. He's just gonna be in his bag. <laughs> six no. minutes. Yo, let's get out of here. Yeah, this plug right, this week cool. is going to be a mad one. That's all I'm going to do. All right, we can just, um, um, see you lot later, man. Oh, I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs>